Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome to Artsy's Tips and Tricks. Tips and tricks for what? Didn't even, just tips and tricks in general. No, tips and tricks for tufting as a beginner. Let's try that again. Welcome to Artsy's Tufting Tips and Tricks for beginners. Let us begin, beginners. All right, so. First thing is, I don't know if this is necessarily a tip, uh, but it would have been for me as a beginner because this is what I was doing. Also, over here, I have the spool of yarn. Yeah, I was just kind of like balancing the framing on a chair or on the floor and it was just bing banging on the... Why? I don't know. So I'm going to show you how to attach your tufting framing if you got like the three foot one. Two feet? Three feet? If you got one of the ones that looks like mine, this is how you can attach it to a table. Super easy. Okay. So my framing has a lip. So it's basically like this little piece of wood that has all the nails on it. And you can see that it sticks out a little bit past the bottom. So the bottom of the framing is here, and this sticks out a little bit past. So we have a little bit of space up here. And so when you put it on the table, you want to put the bottom of the whole framing on the table, just nice and flat, and then the lip will hang over the edge of the table. And the bottom of your framing is gonna be flush with the table. You can see that the little piece of wood with the nails on it is hanging over the edge. We need that so that we can stretch the fabric over. And if anything were like in the way, obviously we wouldn't be able to do that. And then we're gonna take some of these. These are C clamps. I am using two and a half inch. And what I'm gonna do is basically just clamp the little bit of the framing, the tufting framing that is like hanging over the rest of it. I'm gonna use that to clamp it to my table, get it nice and tight. We're gonna do that on the other side as well. And now your framing is attached to your table and it's not gonna go anywhere. Next thing you're gonna do is get your tufting fabric. I recommend the gray tufting fabric. I will link it down in the description. I was using the white for a little while, but the lines only go in one direction on that and it is nice, but these, this gray one has lines that go down and across. There's way fewer lines on this one, but I just prefer this. Once you've got it stretched on, it should be like a really tight trampoline. If you are having trouble with your tufting stitches not staying in the fabric, it's probably because your fabric isn't tight enough. So really get that fabric taut. So the three yarns that I have worked with so far are acrylic, wool, and cotton. So just my quick thoughts on the three. Acrylic is my favorite to work with. As far as how it works with the tufting gun, it cuts really well. It works through the gun really well. It's just overall nice, but it obviously is acrylic. So if you're looking for a more eco-friendly option, there is wool. It is more expensive, but it does cut really nicely as well. It's scratchy, but it is good for rugs, like floor rugs. Whereas acrylic is good for like wall hangings and wall pieces. And then cotton, as far as tufting goes, I hate using cotton. <laughs> but I suppose if you're making like a piece of clothing, maybe cotton would be the best option. But yeah, I don't know, for whatever reason, my gun like does not cut cotton very well. It just, it gets caught. It's just not my favorite. But it does depend on what you're making. So once you figure out what you're making, you can kind of figure out what yarns work best for your project. Like I said, acrylic is good for wall hangings. Wool is good for like floor rugs. And these are just like general quick thoughts on these things. And then cotton, I would say probably good for clothing if you're gonna make like a piece of clothing or something that's gonna be washed. As for how the yarn is woven, obviously on the cone, very nice, very, very nice, but more expensive. I mostly get these from Michaels and just, you know, wound up like this. I don't take the string that's wrapped around the outside. I find the string that is coming from the inside and I literally take my skeins that I'm going to be using for tufting and I put them in a bin like this. This is just like a little cubby that's actually supposed to be a shelf, but I'm using it for this. So I just put them in and as I'm tufting, it just kind of comes out. I at first thought that I had to get everything on a cone. So I was kind of saving toilet paper rolls. You could do that. 
but it is pretty tedious to get a roll of yarn and have to re-roll it. You could also get one of those like rolling things that you just kind of crank and it rolls a thing of yarn for you. I need to get one of those. I don't have one. So main tip is you do not have to get yarn on the cone to tuft. Another tip is I highly, highly recommend using two skeins of yarn or at least two strings of yarn to tuft with. It just makes it so much easier to keep threaded. Like when I was using just one at first, oh my God, it would de-thread itself so often. And also using two things of yarn at once, it also fills in your project a lot faster. I'm just using a little threading tool that looks like this. I got a pack of them on Amazon. So I've looped it through this first and now I'm going to thread it through. Another tip and something that I do pretty often is yarn is obviously expensive, <laughs> especially buying like a lot of it to do rugs or like wall hangings or anything like that. Having to buy two skeins of each color, it doubles the price. It's very annoying. So something that I've done is I will buy one skein, like a big one, and I'll just take some of it and roll a bit of it in my hand and make like another skein basically so that I can have two strands of yarn going into the gun at once. Obviously if your project is big enough it will you'll have to buy more but it is something that I do in a pinch if I've run out of you know if I don't have two skeins of the same color that I really need. All right so next tip is once you've inserted the tip and you're about to begin tufting the only way to go is up. You cannot go down. That's what that looks like. Let's do that again. Because it's pretty horrific. You obviously also can't just go sideways. The only way to go is up. And that is how you fill things in. So you'll do it with like straight lines that go up. I know that sounds dumb, but um, when I first started, this is what I was doing. All right, I, uh, I fucked it up. <laughs> All right, I must be doing something wrong because it's not staying in the fabric. We're troubleshooting, okay? This is my first time we're troubleshooting here. I didn't understand that you couldn't go in different directions for whatever reason. Next tip is if you're doing curved lines, don't just try to do it all in one burst. That, that's not that bad, but when you're starting out, it is easier to do it in bursts like that. So that you can kind of adjust your angle after each burst. When you're first starting out, it is hard to like control a curved line. Next tip is if you mess up, it's totally cool. It's okay. Because what's awesome is that tufting is so forgiving. Obviously, if you go over the same area a bunch of times and pull out the stitches, redo it, pull out the stitches, you're going to tear a hole in the fabric. But if you mess up, you can just take the stitches out. I literally will just use my hands and pull them out. I've seen people use like little combs, like hair combs to pull them out. I also have, if it's like really difficult, I have a pair of tweezers that I use to pull out the stitches. And I also highly, highly recommend saving your scraps, especially if like when you're first starting out and you're pulling a bunch of, you know, yarn out, don't waste that. Keep it. Because believe me, tufting is really addicting. It's super fun and you'll eventually want to make pillows or something that you'll want to stuff. And having those yarn scraps perfect stuffing. Jumping back to if you have made a hole, like if you've tufted over an area too much and now you've created this hole, here's something that you can do. So I've grabbed a piece of string. This piece of string came off of the actual tufting fabric. So this fabric that I'm using, it just does this, like the strings kind of just like hang down over the bottom or any of like the edges of the fabric. So I will just cut 
one of these pieces of string. I thread it through a yarn needle. And so basically you're gonna have like a giant square because the way that this like tufting fabric is, is all these tiny little squares, just fabric going down and to the side. So your hole is basically gonna be a square. So I'm gonna take one or two of the strands that are still going across. So I'm gonna go under these two, over the top two, get up and go around to the other side. Put the needle through and then I'm going to do that sort of same thing for the strings that are going down. So I'm going to take two from the side that's still holding on, go under them and then over two on the other side. Push the needle through, go around to the back and loop it through to the front. I'm just going to kind of keep threading the string through patching this hole. I don't do it super like, there's probably much better techniques out there. Like this is kind of a mess, but my thinking is as long as it holds, you know, my yarn, when I tuft back over it, it's fine. Cause you don't see the tufting fabric when your piece is done. So now we have these two ends and when you tuft over it, it should be all good. Perfect, and you don't even see it. There's no hole. I'm pushing on it. It's not caving in. Perfect. So messing up, not a big deal at all. Messing up is how you learn the lessons anyway. So those are just some of my tips and tricks for beginners in tufting. These were things that genuinely just would have helped me. Like I thought, what were the things that I messed up on when I first started tufting? What were the questions that I had? Like, why can't you tuft down? <laughs> anyway, I hope this video helped you if you're starting out tufting. You should follow me on Instagram and tag me in your projects. I'm literally obsessed. Tufting is one of the loves of my life. Please tag me in your projects. I would love to see them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel, which is not so artsy. I feel like I never say the name of it. And follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. It is at Artsy Mad Woman. You can, <laughs> you can become a member of this channel where we do bonus videos, lots of bonus content, and places where I reveal things just to the members. The link to become a member is down in the description along with the link to the merch. So we have merch that looks like this. It is super cute and I'm obsessed with it. But also we have merch that looks like this and I drew this one up myself. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. Just a couple of cute jack-o'-lanterns. There's t-shirts and hoodies and crewnecks and mugs and magnets and laptop cases, I think, and tote bags. The link for the merch is also down in the description. I love you guys to absolute death, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.